<clears throat> Fuck. Allergies, dude. I always wake up feeling like shit. It's 4.30. I woke up at 4.20. So I got work at 6. At six. My first day at the fucking union. And I'm going to try to be there by 5.30. 5.45. I, I got my smoothie. I got two packets of oatmeal. Some frozen bananas. Some frozen fucking strawberries and other fruits. And some peanut butter. And celery. Slurp the shit up. I got my roller. I don't know why, dude, but my fucking back hurts. Like my back and like my lower ass hurts. Like more than normal. Dude, I would hate to go on my first day. <laughs> Be like, bro, my back hurts. The fact that I even got up early right now <laughs> is like, it's a big deal for me. <laughs> I put my foot up on my head. It like kind of stretches. Pro tip, you always want your fucking belt to match your boots. This belt's a little fucking old and it doesn't look like it matches, but at some point it did. And it matches a lot more than my other my other belt. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm fucking ready, dude. My left leg feels like there's circulation getting cut off, but I think I'll be all right. What's up, everybody? It's Matt. And I just finished my first day at the Union. It was not bad, but it was not good either. But what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna clean this shit up. All my tools are fucking disorganized all over the place. It's like, it's a shit show back there. Alright, there's all my tools. Check them out. I got a good amount of nails, different shit that I might need. I got a lot of different shit in there. A lot of different shit in there. Got my bags. Got my skill saw. Got my pink shoes. Yes, I got pink shoes. I got my bag full of other tools and I got my drills. So, just like a little bit about the union, dude. At least here in Tucson, right? It was not what I was expecting whatsoever. Um, now, is that a good or a bad thing? It's a little bit of both. Uh, I don't know, I'm not too sure exactly how I feel about it, dude. It's like, <sighs> you know, I really, I went in there, how do I say this, man? 
I guess what I was wanting for myself joining the union was to really be a part of a big company that does big steel and big iron and that, you know, I wanted to be, you know, a connector. I wanted to be welding. I wanted to be doing all of this shit way up in the sky, you know? That's what I wanted to be doing. But that's not at all what I'm doing. You know, right now we're doing a lot more like miscellaneous type of shit and, you know, smaller stuff. And that's just how the company is. That's just what the company is. That's what this union company is. And that's just solely what they do. You know, they don't really do a lot of big jobs. There's only two union companies here in Tucson, Arizona. Okay. And I guess neither one of them really do like the bigger stuff. Some, uh, one of the companies, you know, one company, this side, they do, you know, prefab buildings, kind of like, I guess they do more work a little bit bigger but this side they do a lot of like the miscellaneous shit <coughs> so with that being said you know it's kind of like uh you know it's you know yes i'm in the union but it's not exactly what i want to be doing and after talking with them they said hey you got to go to phoenix dude if you want to get to where you want to get you got to go to phoenix I ain't ready to go to fucking Phoenix right now. I mean, maybe eventually, very soon eventually, but right now, fuck no. So I'm gonna clean out all of these bags and all this shit. So I can reorganize. You know, whining and complaining and fucking saying that this isn't what I wanna do and that's not gonna get me nowhere, dude. It just isn't. You know, I'm gonna basically just take this opportunity to learn as much as I can. Cause I mean, the company, I mean, it's still a good company here. I really, I mean, I really, at the end of the day, I like to work with them. But is it a company that I want to stay at? No, fuck no. No offense if anyone's watching this. But I don't think anyone will be watching this. Watch yeah, I don't know, dude. It's like, I just, I kind of told myself, you know, I gotta stay a fucking student to, to, to ironworking, to what I'm doing, you know? And really perfect my craft as far as like the miscellaneous steel goes. Cause yeah, it'd be cool to do all that crazy big shit, but I also want to learn how to do everything. Like the, this is one of my favorite fucking tools, dude. It's a crowbar, it's 21 inches long. This is like a normal crowbar that you see everywhere else. It's 15 inches long. So if you don't got one of these, dude, go get one of these bitches. So I also decided I'm gonna keep this fucking piece of junk. Yeah, so all of this like shit, dude, it just makes me feel like, I'm like, fuck, man. Like my biggest thing is I feel like I'm getting old. I might not be exactly, but it fucking feels like it. And like, you know, just my anxiety about the whole shit just fucking starts, starts to bother me, you know? Cause then I'm like, damn, well, this is what I want to do, but this isn't what I'm doing. And you know, how am I going to be able to showcase everything that I'm capable of when I'm just fucking, you know, doing little shit but then someone once told me that you're exactly where you're supposed to be at and I think that's bullshit I think that thing is so full of shit now that I say it out loud like that cause ain't where I'm supposed to be at Maybe, uh, I don't fucking know dude is what I mean I started thinking about it and I'm like damn bro it sucks so, these are my first impressions of the Union in Tucson. Some bullshit. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, it's what I expected, but it's not what I expected, you know? The guys are really cool. They've been helping me out, kind of teaching me little shit here and there. You know, talking. I mean, it's, it's just cool, you know? We're all cool. It's whatever. But... 
it's just not where I want to be at. Like, I don't think you guys, I don't think really anyone fully understands that, like, how, how much anxiety I really have over the future and what the fuck I'm doing and what I'm going to be doing. And, and, you know, I think about this shit all the fucking time and I'm like, fuck, bruh. It's just stressing me out. Look at this shit. Like, that's how much it stresses me out. I got fucking bald spots because I'm stressed the fuck out. Shake my head. And that's why, like, I'm gonna do this. this. That's literally why I'm doing this. Once I have this more organized, I think I my life will be more organized. Look at how much more bullshit, dude. <laughs> like, how? I can get fly, fly, fly. More or less, I just threw different shit in different bags. I fucking hate everything. So like, I never realized how bad my anxiety is or was. Like, I didn't even know I had fucking anxiety like that. Like, I thought I was like, whatever, dude. I just feel weird sometimes. I don't know where the fuck I read it at, but it's like, basically like, I self-diagnosed <laughs> that I have anxiety. And the more I talk about it and the more I think about it, I'm like, damn. Like, this is why I'm pissed off right now. And I don't know how to fucking fix it most of the time. I have fucking anxiety about, about fucking work. Because I don't know what the fuck's going to happen, dude. You know, like, part of me is like, you know, I'm not going to get anywhere unless I really fucking push for it. And that's like, tell them, hey, you got to put me with a different company. But then I think about it and it's like, fuck. I'm, I don't know if I'm ready to fucking move to Phoenix like that because that's where all the work is. But that, it's like, fuck, I just cannot be, uh, I can't be patient for no, for some fucking reason, bro. And then at the same time, I'm thinking like, fuck, I need to be doing something with my time, man. Like I'm done at two o'clock and, you know, do I go to the gym right after work like that? Do I like, like, what the fuck am I supposed to be doing, bro? It gets confusing, it gets frustrating, it gets like, you know, I need to put all, I, I have so much fucking energy that I got to put somewhere, dude. And when I don't put it anywhere, it, it just, fucking no, bro. Today's Thursday, I'm following the homies right here, and we're going to the job site. I think it's just like a little job site. I think we got like a few comps to throw up. I don't know about beams. I mean, I feel like it's like the one, not the one time, like we've been working for like, I mean, shit, dude, this is where it's my time to shine right here. Hopefully. <laughs> we got some beams, hopefully I can climb these little columns and shit. But there's only two guys on the field right now and the owner, so that's three of us, but two of us most of the time. And we're gonna go fucking throw up some columns and beams right now. <clears throat> so I don't know what the plan is. I don't know what the fucking, what the building looks like. I, I literally know nothing about this job. But I'm an artist. I get my tools ready. You know, that hasn't really been like a real time for me to really show what I'm capable of. I mean, although that I have been like, you know, on top of shit. Like, I know I'm doing good right now. Like, I just know, you know, I fucking feel it. I fucking feel it in my chest and shit. Fucking you guys want to see the homie right now? Here's the homie. We got our two scissor lifts. We got our one genie boom lift motherfucker up there. And there he is. Penetration. And so yeah, so I've really just been trying to wait for you know my opportunity to show what the fuck I'm made of, motherfuckers. Full energy. 
I think it's a haircut, dude. I think if I get a haircut, all of this will not look like this right now. Is it time to bust out the shades today, bro? And I got a fucking, I got a new part head. He's probably gonna look back at his fucking mirror and be like, what the fuck is this guy doing for his part head? I even cleaned my fucking boots, bro. Look at that shit. Look at these motherfuckers. Sexy as hell right now. What's up, motherfuckers? I'm fucking dying right now. It's hot as fuck, dude. Look at that. that's what that's what we're doing back there. Little ass building, but just like the heat by itself, bro, is fucking killing us. And there's only three of us. <laughs> you know, we set all of our columns. We had to clean off all of the the, the nuts. I mean, the the anchor bolts. And then, what else? We had to make sure all the anchor bolts were fitting inside the holes, inside of our templates. And then after that, we threw up the columns. We made some bolts. We threw up all of our uh, little beams, purlins you see over there. Now we got two hours left. We've been here since seven o'clock. We started at six o'clock at the fucking shop. I'm dying, bro. Like, I literally feel like, like, I gotta stop working out so much or some shit. But, I'm gonna try something. Yeah. Beet powder. Normally, I just take this before the gym. But this is basically a fucking workout right now. Take a little shot to the head. Have some super, super, super veggies and shit. I'm gonna be running all over the place. I'm gonna be unstoppable right now. Watch. Cheers, motherfuckers. This doesn't have caffeine, it's just straight beats, bro. Ugh. It tastes like vegetables, bro. I'm gonna throw up. Yeah, look at the shit. 279 milligrams of potassium, 75 milligrams of sodium, two grams of dietary fiber, one gram of sugar, and organic fermented beetroot, six grams. So, this is some good shit, apparently. I mean, it works in the gym, you know, I feel fucking, I feel fucking veiny as shit right now. I mean, not right now, but in the gym. I feel big. I feel like I can fucking last. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm thinking. The next time I'm gonna try this. All right, that's everything. Not bad for three guys in one day is work. That shit was hard. Shit had me tired.